there is. Is this your first job? First job? I've never killed a man, if that's what you mean. It's not as hard as you might think. It depends on the man. Which man? The target or the man doing the killing? Both. Tell me, friend, what did you do before the war? I was a baseball player. <laughs> you know baseball? No, uh, baseball. Like Joe DiMaggio. Did he ever kill anyone? Not that I know of. Good luck, my friend. You'll be fine. Just do it before the Gestapo figures it out. I'll try. Two out, top of the third. Man on first. Mo Bird still in at catcher. Fifteen years in the league and still standing. How long can this guy go on? Runner takes his lead. Ball calls the sign. Okay, now here's the pitch. The runner goes. Throw down to second. Got him. Hey, don't shake me off. I don't want to change him when somebody's stealing. I barely got him. How'd you know where he's going? I just knew. How you holding up? What do you mean? Sooner or later, I'm gonna need your spot on the roster, Mo. Make it later. It is later. I've been asking for two seasons to hang up the cleats and coach. I like it out there. You hardly play. All the more reason to hang on. Look, I didn't want to stop playing either. So what do you say? Finish out the season, then coach? I could go to Detroit. Mickey'd let me play. Mickey's an idiot. So are you, for letting me play. You get a call about the Japan thing? Yeah. You going? It's absolutely. Who else is going? Uh, we got Murderer's Row. We got Ruth, Garrig, Avril, Geringer, Gomez. Am I the only bum? They like the Professor Berg thing. They also like that you speak Japanese. Who said I speak Japanese? Kieran, one of his columns. Interesting. Say, Parker House, steaks? No, thanks. OK, mystery man. What you staring at, rookie? What's the story about Parker? What do you mean? You seem strange. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. It just seems odd. Mind your own business, dog. Is he bad lefty? How the hell should I know? Why should I care? It's just I don't feel like showing my dick to a queer. But don't show it to him then. Somebody ought to find out.
You're Mo Berg, aren't you? Who? Oh. Mo Berg, the baseball player. Oh, uh, no, you know, but I must look like him. Everybody says I look like him. You kidding? No, I ain't him, but I sure as hell must look like him. Eh. Where am I dropping you? A couple more blocks. I'll walk from there. Suit yourself, Mr. Berg. Actually, you know what? Stop. Here, let's go. Mr. Dalton, you live around here? Oh, fuck you. I didn't catch your answer. Do you live around here? Do you live around here? No! Do you know what the word hypothetical means? Well, it means let's suppose. Let's suppose there was a baseball player, a rookie, who intruded on the privacy of another ball player who was reaching the twilight of his career and really had nothing to lose at this point. Are you following so far? You fucking fragged <laughs> <laughs> You think you know everything, don't you? I don't know anything, all right? <laughs> now, you'll be pleased to know Cronin, Cronin is considering putting you in the lineup. Show some improvement, and you got a shot. Good luck. Don't stop. That's beautiful. You're a liar, and you're late. I had some people to see. Play.
Where did that come from? The way you looked at me when I came in. Any normal man would have done the same thing. I didn't look at you. I had my back turned. And the reason that I love you is that you're the farthest thing from a normal man that anyone would ever think of. It's time for... The Inspiration Inn! Yes, the show where the elite meet to meet out the meat of their minds. Tonight, our special guest is Mo Berg, catcher for the Boston Red Sox. And for those of you who actually read John Kieran's articles, will know him as Professor Berg, top graduate from Princeton University, also holding advanced degrees from Columbia University and the Sorbonne University in Paris, France. Welcome, Professor Berg. <laughs> Mo will do. Happy to be here. Well, Mo it is. And Mo, let's play ball. Our first question is for you. Excellent. Thank you. Very well done. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Trick question. Me. The Canary Islands aren't named for the name is derived from the Latin word canis, which means dog. The islands were named for the wild dogs that are found there. Right you are. Well, so far, Mo Berg is batting a thousand. <laughs> so, Mo, tell us a little bit about yourself. Is there a Mrs. Berg? Uh, yes, she's married to my father. <laughs> I meant, is there a Mrs. Berg in your life? Does this count for points? Wow, you sure wriggled your way out of that one. Mo Berg, the walking enigma. That is, well, that's the case with him. Very similar. Was it always? Always. Because of that, people How never You know all of these things. Well, it's common knowledge. Wow. Oh, I'm going to Japan. An exhibition tour after the season. Oh, Mo, I have always wanted to see Japan. I'll take some pictures. Or you could take me and I'll take the pictures myself. Oh, Stella, come on. I'd really like to go, Mo. It's just a series of exhibition games. And I'm sure the other players are taking their wives. You're not my wife. Hmm. I didn't mean anything by that. I was. Simply stating it as fact. It was more than that, Mo. It wasn't more than anything, Estella. What? Why do you not want to take me to Japan, Morris? I would just rather go alone. Well, it wasn't so hard, was it? Watashi 
Welcome to Japan, Mr. Borg. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it here. My name is Isao Kawabata. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mutual. No, he only batted 235. Please, tell me all about baseball. It looked like such an interesting game. You don't know anything? Nothing. Well, nope. baseball's a game where people fail a lot more often than they succeed. Sounds very much like life. <laughs> yes, it does. So what do you do? I am a professor of history. Now, that sounds interesting. So why would a professor who doesn't know anything about baseball be at a game? Maybe you don't fully understand, Mr. Burke. This visit is very important. It goes beyond sport. Our cultures are very different and growing further apart. If we don't stop to learn about one another, then... Then what? There'll be no more games. You're happy here? I am. Why? When I was growing up, my first baseball team was a church team, but I'm a Jew. Now, I was never a practicing Jew, but I was different than the other boys. I never even told them my real name. I tried to blend in. I wanted to hide. And it worked. Do you like to hide, Mr. Book? I do. <laughs> I don't fit. Even now, I have no real home. I have no wife. Do you have a wife, Isao? I do. And six children. She's very fertile. I like to hide, too. Important question. Yes. You're a professor of history. Will there be a war between our two countries? Yes. It has been progressing step by step. It is quite inevitable. Everything will change. We will all play our part. I also think, after this visit, we will never see each other again. I hope you're wrong. As do I.
attack yesterday on the Hawaiian Islands has caused severe damage to American naval and military forces. I regret to tell you that very many American lives have been lost. Hello, Jerry. Oh, nice to see you. Long time. I was hoping you'd be here. Oh, yeah? Why? I understand you're working in Washington. Where'd you hear that? One of the guys. I can't remember who. State Department? Uh, yeah, sort of. How'd you come to get the job? There's room for people with languages. That's what I figured. Je sais que tu parles français. Allemand, Italien, quoi d'autre? Deutsch, Holländisch und die Romanischen Sprachen. Italienisch mit Akzent. Türkisch, Arabisch und Farsi mit ziemlich starkem Akzent. Latein. Und Kurkenis in Hindi, Mandarin und Kantonesisch. Allora, il tuo italiano è... Giudici lei, ma direi che è passabile. How are your knees? What do you mean? I fear a professional ball player is getting 4F. Bad hinges. My knees are as passable as my Italian. Have you heard of Bill Donovan? Yeah, sure. Yale, football, Medal of Honor, 1918. He's my boss. We're setting up a small adjunct to the uh, State Department. Here's a number. I'll give this man a call. Thanks. First time I've seen you at one of these things. First time I've come to one. Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We are at war. In light of what lies before us, the challenges, the sacrifices, the losses, I ask you, gentlemen of Princeton, to join us in the singing of the battle hymn of the Republic. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Sorry for the song choice. What? Where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the At least it's not all my Christian soldiers. His swift sword. His that would have been fine too. Marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Fires of the hundred serving camps, they have filled a gym and altar in the evening service. I can read his righteous sentence by the duke and wearing glass. It is day. Thank you, gentlemen.
Interesting film you brought back, Mr. Berg. What made you make it? I happen to be in Japan. A lot of people happen to be in Japan. Not all of them go to the top of a building in Tokyo and make home movies of the harbor and naval shipyards. I had the opportunity. It seemed a sensible thing to do. How did you know then that we would be at war with Japan? The Journal of Oriental Society was filled with articles about going to war with Japan. You read the JOS? I, well, that wasn't apparent from what I just said? Yes, yes, I suppose it was. But no one in the government or the army asked you to make the film? No. You did it as a private citizen? Yes. <laughs> You're an unusual man, Mr. Bird. Yes, so I'm told. Have a seat. Not married, no children. Odd for a man your age, no? Never occurred to me. May I ask you a very personal question? You may. Are you queer? I'm good at keeping secrets. You're also good at some other things. You speak seven languages fluently, another three or four to a lesser degree. In addition, you're an athlete, which means you're more than up to the physical requirements of the job. What job? Any job we might care to give you in the event that we bring you into the fold. Mo, Jerry Frederick speaks very highly of you. We're looking for people who can keep secrets, but not from us. We're fighting a war here. It's a very serious business. Now, personally, I don't care who a man fucks, as long as he can help us win this war. If it comes down to it, I'm willing to die for my country. They say that patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel. It isn't they. It's Samuel Johnson. And it's not the last. It's the first. Welcome to the OSS, Mr. Berg. Captive coal mine strike ties up production and Congress prepares anti-strike legislation. And in France, the Germans advanced along the Saint-Michel salient, taking in the town of Saint-Romel and Toulon. On the southern front, Allied advances continued in Sicily. Great report on the Serbian border unit. Thank you. <sighs> I'm going crazy. I am not made for desk work. All right, you got to get me out onto the field. You're useful here. Well, I hate it. All right, I'm used to being on a ball field all day. If I stay cooped up in here, I'm gonna kill somebody, maybe myself. Yeah. Someone chasing you? I don't know. Well, it's good that you're here. Come with me. Where are we going? Be careful what you wish for, Berg. Because you just might get it? Because it could get you killed. Gentlemen, Mo Berg, Bob Furman. Huh, nice to meet you. This is Professor Sam Gouchman. Hello, Phil. If you would. Bob, Mo, Sam. We have something for you. 
Since this war began, we've been engaged in a massive research and development program called the Manhattan Project, the purpose of which is the creation of a fission bomb. Now, if initial calculations are correct, one bomb would be enough to wipe out an entire city. The war could be decided in a day. We have reason to believe the Germans are also working on such a bomb. Sam? The scientist leading their atomic fission program is Werner Heisenberg. So, we must get to him and find out how close the Germans are to a bomb. Uh, he has left Berlin, and we don't know where he is or what he's doing, but uh, he has remained in contact with an Italian physicist with whom I've worked, uh, Eduardo Amaldi. So we'd start in Italy, the three of us. Sam for the physics, me, military, and you, OSS. Hmm. Where in Italy? Rome. Our fifth army is moving north. They should take the city in a week or two. We'll go in, find the physicist, and interrogate him. Uh, interview him, please. Amaldi is my friend. Uh, if the Italian physicist has any value, won't the Germans take him when they pull out or kill him? Well, that's why we'd actually go in with the Fifth Army, to prevent that from happening. It's not desk work. No, it's not. Could be fun. Oh, an athlete's uncomplicated hubris. I do not speak of fun, Mr. Berg. Figure of speech. If the enemy intercepts your communication, they can easily discern what you have written there simply by holding the paper over a flame or treating it with reactive chemicals such as sodium carbonate. The German MP40, very effective weapon for close combat. Never hold the gun by the clip when firing, as that can cause the gun to jam. Cameras used by both civilians and military, depending on the situation. Don't wait too soon. Don't look too long. Don't peer beyond the moon. How's work? It's just work. And when do you go back to DC? I, uh, I'm not going to DC. Not for a while. Well, how long do I have you? Hmm? Till tomorrow. Why am I not surprised? I'm sorry, Stella. I'm. going overseas. You brought me here to say goodbye? I'll be back. Who knows? You know that I love you. Simply yes or no. You know that I love you. I really wanted us to be perfect. That's all. We are. Liar. There we go.
Come in. Tell me about Heisenberg. Mm. Oh, it's somewhat complicated, man. Yeah, just before the war started, uh, we were together at a conference at the University of Michigan. And Fermi and I begged him not to go back to Germany. But he went. Yeah, but to save German science from the Nazis. And now he's the head of their atomic bomb program. Could he build a bomb? Could he? Or would he? Both. The could of it would require enormous physical and financial resources, perhaps more than Germany has at its disposal. But with the resources, he could do it. Yes. In the wood of it? I don't know. I don't know. So you were friends. You knew him well. Yeah. You still consider him a friend? You are a Jew, yeah? Mr. Burke? Jewish. After the Nazis occupied Holland, my parents were taken to Auschwitz. So I contacted Eisenberg and I asked him, uh, begged him to do what he could. We haven't spoken since. I don't know if they're dead or alive. comfortable with this. We'll be all right. What if there are Germans waiting for us? Then we'll probably get shot and killed. Ah, oh, this is all the variables of a disaster. Sam, stop your whining. So great. Yeah. Quite well, thank you. Who the hell are you? What's up there? Goddamn Germans left the rear guard division. Paying for every inch. What's the safest way to Piazza Leone? Why don't you drive south 30 miles? Find yourself a nice hotel. Wait a week. We can't wait. All right, fine, your call. Look, stay on the Via Appia as long as you can. Stash your Jeep when it gets too messy. But as of this morning, that whole area was crawling with crowds. Right, good luck. Thanks. All right, let them through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me and stay down. No. Oh, it's 
the crowd, Jadu. Ready to run to that wall. Wait for my call. Okay, go. That's an alley's upper floor. Amaldi. Sí. Shit. 
Devo vedere suo marito. Entri. the city up past the Vatican. The Germans have pulled back their rear guard. È stato fortunato, Sam. La ferita è superficiale. Ah. Scusi, mi può aiutare? Può tenere? Ah. Venga. Una mano qui. Oh, grazie. E una mano qui. Ah. Spinga forte. Vado yeah. a prendere delle bende e torno su. All right. All right. You'll be fine, buddy. Posso fare una domanda, professor? Certamente. Sta riparando la bicicletta in mezzo a tutto questo tumulto. Perché? <ride> no, non lo sto riparando. Questo è il giorno della settimana in che lo dedico a pulirla, la bicicletta. Vede, noi cerchiamo di vivere normalmente, facendo le cose che generalmente facciamo, quando le facciamo normalmente. Sa perché sono qui, professore? Immagino che non sia qui per discutere biciclette. Lei vuol sapere che cosa so io del programma nucleare tedesco? Sì. sì. Eh, precisamente vorrei sapere se il suo amico professor Eisenberg cerca di costruire una bomba nucleare. Non lo posso dire con certezza. E lei pensa che sarebbe in grado di farcela? Ma certo, è uno dei migliori fisici del mondo. Poi forse la mia domanda più importante è, professore, lo farebbe? Signor sì, Berger, io non so che cosa lei abbia fatto prima della guerra, ma sicuramente quello che ha fatto ha cercato di farlo nel modo migliore. Il professor Heisenberg non è il migliore scienziato al mondo. Il titolo spetta a Albert Einstein. Ma Heisenberg vuole essere il migliore. Significa? Significa che se, ehm, se fosse stato il primo a costruire la bomba nucleare, l'avrebbe già fatto. Ma? E non lo so perché non l'ha fatto. They don't have it. They're still building carbon molding frames instead of shaped housings. He's writing about heavy water absorption rates. This letter, he asked Amaldi for help with casement tolerances. Here, he says he's doing large structure analyses. Everything points to a reactor instead of a bomb. How do we know these documents aren't decoys, plants? They're letters, personal letters. These men are friends. Yeah, the physics is uh, intertwined with the intimacy. Mm, we have to be sure. Then have the British review it, dear physicists. They will confirm what I say. All right. We'll have the Brits weigh in. Donovan will be here soon. I'm kicking this upstairs. The industrial complex at Heschingen has only a containment vessel and a cycle stack, both signs of a nascent reactor facility. And the uranium separation facility? Consensus in London is that's just a carbon separator of some sort, an attempt at shale extraction. Coal? Apparently, sir. I concur. So, where does this leave us? London is certain. No German bomb. Degree of certainty? There's no such thing as a degree of certainty. I mean, something is either certain or it is not. Mm. Thank you, gentlemen. Good day, sir. Good day. So what are the alternatives? 
Bombing Hessigan is unlikely to be effective. If they are developing a bomb, the work, the materials will be spread out of facilities at other factories. So, our British allies tell us 100% no German bomb. My people tell me a 20% possibility. Uh, more likely 10 or 5%. Perhaps but, uh, less. But not zero. It's probability 101. You multiply the likelihood of the event by the consequence. 5% chance you're going to stub your toe in the dark, you take the chance, walk to the bathroom without turning on the lights and waking your wife. A 5% chance of losing the war to a weapon like this, you do what has to be done. Which is? We kill Heisenberg. What if he's on our side? Why is it that the Germans haven't developed a bomb? Heisenberg has a team of at least a dozen capable physicists. What have they been doing? What are you saying? He's dragging his feet? Intentionally slowing the program? I do not think that Werner Heisenberg would want to be remembered as a traitor. The men who lost the war for Germany? We are not absolutely sure of that, nor do we have any actual evidence that he's secretly working for us. There are millions of lives at stake. I'm sorry. Werner Heisenberg, pioneer in the study of subatomic particles. Winner of the 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics for the creation of quantum mechanics. Equation 56 is known as Heisenberg's principle of uncertainty. The principle shows that one can never observe both the position and velocity of a particle at the same time. One cannot be certain where something is and where it is going. And thus, Heisenberg proves that no one knows anything. We live in eternal uncertainty. A man after my own heart. You like libraries. Why? Here, there's a belongingness I find in few other places. On a ball field. There, too. That's gone now. I have to ask you a question, and I need a real answer. If it comes down to it, are you going to be able to kill him? Yes. You want to play? Oh, good. You uh, got a choice? Catcher? It's all yours. He's a pro. Yeah. I know who that is. That's Mo Berg. Forty-five lifetime. Yeah, yeah, just don't hit it down my throat, okay? Jesus Christ. 
Mo Berg, thanks. Oh, no. Don't thank me. Thank you. Hey, do you mind uh, signing the ball? Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot, Mo. You know, I saw you a dozen times at Fenway. You were great. Me? Great? When? Well, I saw you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Let me see. It's a short train journey from Hershingen. A break from the grim atmosphere of Germany, you will be tempted. And I know someone in Zurich, Paul Scherer. Ian Heisenberg are good friends. They play chess by mail. He's anti-Nazi. Exactly, but he and Heisenberg are still close. And he can help us lure Heisenberg to Zurich. Such a word, lure. Heisenberg has been there twice since the war started. We simply have Scherer invite him to deliver a lecture. Can Scherer be persuaded to work with us? Yes, Scherer will arrange it. And so the madness becomes real. We have to kill Werner Heisenberg, and I am to be a part of it. No one wants to kill Heisenberg. Yeah, then kidnap him. Send in spies to Germany and kidnap him. You've read too many spy novels. I've never read a spy novel. It's not that easy to kidnap somebody. Ah. Yeah, you mean killing is easier. I have about 30 miles on foot to the Swiss border. I'd hold on to your gun. I have some reservations about your guys. Reservations like what? Reservations like they might kill you. You might have cared to add that to the report. Here's your guides. Wish me luck. I don't want to hear you're depending on luck. Figure of speech. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Ancora andare avanti. Lascia che se lo trovi da solo. Va bene. L'ebreo andrà avanti da solo. Penso di poter trovare il punto d'incontro senza il vostro aiuto. Ma dovreste sapere che se lo trovo o meno, se non mi portate lì e riesco a tornare a Roma, i miei colleghi vi troveranno e vi uccideranno. Sono come la Gestapo, ma più efficienti. Ho perso le mie pecore. Ho perso le mie pecore. Quante? Cinque. L'aiuto a trovarle. Buona fortuna. Stronzo.
Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Who came up with that sheep nonsense? I don't know. I felt like an idiot. So did I. Switzerland? Yes. Let's go. isn't his thing. What? Treachery. Professor Scherer. Mr. Aziz, please, come in. Thank you. My name's Berg. Oh, so who is Mr. Aziz? A cover name. I prefer you and I tell each other the truth. I'm Morris Berg. Oh. Sam Gouchmit sends his regards. Ah, well, I was hoping he would come here personally. Please, please sit down. Well, he, uh, he sent you something. Heavy water. Nordsk telling in purity. Oh, thank you so much. No, you don't know how much I appreciate this. Thank you so much. You don't worry, I give this to the Germans. We trust you, Professor. I may be mistaken, but... I don't think Professor Heisenberg will reveal anything in his lecture. Hmm. Well, then perhaps I could speak with him privately. Are you hoping he'll defect? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Ich danke Ihnen, dass Sie gekommen sind. Ich bin von ganzem Herzen froh, dass ich zurück in Zürich bin. Und ich möchte hiermit meinem teuren Freund Professor Scherer für die Einladung danken. Die Wissenschaft kann ebenso ein Werkzeug des Friedens wie auch des Krieges sein. Und dies auch zu Kriegszeiten. All right, then listen carefully. There may be one moment that tells you whether the Germans have a chance at a fission bomb or not. One moment when you'll learn all you need to know. 
You understand me, Catcher? I understand you. Gegenwärtig herrscht weltweit unter den Physikern großes Interesse an der Kernspaltung. In that moment, without hesitation, you will shoot Heisenberg dead on the spot. Unsere derzeitige Arbeit an der Kernspaltung ist ein wesentlicher Bestandteil friedlicher und ziviler Aktivitäten. Und damit komme ich zur Streumatrix-Theorie. Die Theorie beschreibt Streu, Emissions- und Absorptionsvorgänge. Das hier sind die eingehenden Partikel und das hier die ausgehende. Did he accept your dinner invitation? I prevailed upon our friendship. He'll be there. Good. What if he doesn't tell you what you want to know? I'll do my best to be persuasive. There's always the possibility that you will learn nothing. Then at least we will have tried. Mr. Burke, is there something you're not telling me? No. Do you plan to kill Professor Heisenberg? I have no intention whatsoever. One last thing. Heisenberg will have undercover Gestapo agents watching him, and you can't allow yourself to be captured. I don't know what God you believe in, Berg, if any. But I'll be asking mine to keep an eye on you. Call is being connected, sir. Let me know if there's a problem. Hello? Hello? Estella? Mars? Are you all right? I am. Where are you? Uh, I can't say. And I don't have much time. But I wanted to call and... Wanted to hear your voice. I'm here, Mom. I 
I have to go. I love you. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Das macht Professor Scherer immer. Eine komplizierte Partie aufzustellen. Darf ich? Bitte. Kennen wir uns? Anton hat Sie's. Merkwürdiger Akzent. Ich wusste nicht, dass ich einen habe. Das war in meiner Vorlesung. Ja. Interessante Situation. Sehr. Schauen Sie sich's genau an. Springe auf C4. Who is that, Paul? I saw him at the lecture. What's he doing here? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I think you find him very engaging. You know he carries a gun. Yeah. No need to worry. Let's see. I just don't understand how you could have stayed in Germany. Oh, please, no politics. No war. There is a war, whether you like it or not. What, are you suggesting I like the war? I am suggesting that, unlike many of your colleagues, you elected to stay in Nazi Germany. I elected to stay in Germany, which happens to be Nazi. Do I hear politics from that end of the table? One hears what one wishes to hear. Please, we are old friends. Let's talk about old times or better times to come. Yes, please. Läufer E2. Läufer E2? Sie sind ein vorsichtiger Mann, der ja. Aziz. Ich muss es sein. Ich kenne Ihr Spiel nicht. Dann werde ich es Ihnen zeigen. Der Springer nimmt den Läufer. Bauer schlägt Springer. Das ist ein schlechter Zug. Der Bauer nimmt den Bauern. Türm schlägt Läufer. Ja. Ja. Ausgezeichnet, Herr. Immer noch, Herr Sies. Aziz. Aziz. Irgendwie passt der Name nicht zu Ihnen. I understand we have uh, bad weather tomorrow. Rain.
There is no avoiding political matters. We can try. Is that what you've been doing? As the head of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute? And the Heereswaffenamt? I beg of you, we are completely separate from politics. <laughs> oh, I forgot, the citizens of the world, yes? Once, and hopefully again someday. Oh, tell that to the Poles. And the Danes? The Belgians? The Jews? Please, I'm not a military man. <laughs> we don't know what sort of man you are. Yes, we do. He's the kind of man who is helping the Nazis fight their war, building Hitler's super weapon. <laughs> See? He doesn't even deny it. I think the war will be over soon. Maybe. And Germany will lose. Whatever you say. <laughs> you disgust me. Please, please, please. Professor Heisenberg is my guest. Well, then the two of you can lament Germany is lost together. Oh. Please forgive me. Verna, please, stay. I really must go. I've endured enough of this. Some lady stray. Uh, I'm on. Darf ich Sie begleiten? Do I have a choice? Yes, of course. Should I run, perhaps? I wouldn't recommend it. We must finish our game. I believe it's your move, Professor. 9 takes walk. Bishop takes bishop. Paul takes knight. And so, in three exchanges, only my king will survive. Seems to me, this game is nearly over. I cannot mount an attack of my king. So it is over. Who are you? A student. A student? Really? A student of what? Of you. I see. Now how are we supposed to ascertain the truth here, Mr. Park? Will Germany lose the war? Is this really a secret? 
I'll ask him myself. I think you mean, am I a traitor? Is that what you wish to know? And if I think he's lying, then I'll kill him. Like me, you are free to choose. Good night, Professor Eisenberg. What did you say your name was? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>